All right, guys. So I'm going to be talking about the the exile. This was a book that was sent to me by my good friend Chris. Um, Chris, thank you once again. And this is kind of special because this book is actually written by a famous actor. That's right. This is written by Wesley Snipes. You know, Blade, Demolition. You know, from Blade, Demolition Man. I could go on with the act it, with the line of acting uh, chops. So this was his first comic, and unlike a lot of comics written by actors or singers, they don't really have like a extra writer. Well, actually, no, I take that back. I think there was an extra writer who helped him, but from what I understand, um, yeah, it was with Wesley Snipes, Adam Lawson, and Keith Aram. Um, but I think Snipes came up with the general plot and. From what from what I saw from one interview, it did say that he did say that Snipes did do a majority of the writing for the book. So yeah, what is the exile about? But actually, before we actually get into the uh, uh, into the comic itself, let's talk about this comic right here, the book itself. Do you see how big this is? Do you see how like large this book is? It's unreasonably oversized. Um, if it was hardcover, I'd be a little more forgiving, but this is regular paperback, so it's kind of flimsy, and when every time I tried to read it, like, it would be too top-heavy and fall out of my hands, and I'd have to f finagle with it. I really prefer, and this is just a me thing, I really prefer it if books could just be book size. I don't care for, like, oversized editions or, you know, mon you know re smaller books. I bother, like, I, I'll read them, but, like, at the same time, I'm like, it really bothers me. My OCD just really doesn't like that when it's, re when it's like, big like this. Because it also makes it a bitch and a half to put in my bookshelf. Anyway, so, here we go. So, what is this book about? Well, the best way to describe it is that this book is basically if you took Men in Black, Bad Boys, and Witchblade, and a little bit of Stargate, and put them all together and you get the exile. The exile focuses on a care on a on a cop named Roach who had a strained connection with his father a strained connection with his father who died mysteriously and was also part of a terrorist attack called Red Friday which killed several people except him. As he proceeds to go th you know one year later after being called exiled by the police force and not really liked um, for a multitude of reasons um, he essentially um, has stumbled on a plot on a new plot involving a serial killer who's been collecting spines like the goddamn predator, um, and finds a group called Core who use alien technology to fight aliens that are hiding on Earth. Like I said, it's bad boys, uh, which uh, and also the armor he gets is like a biomechanical armor. So, like I said, Witchblade, Bad Boys, and Men in Black are all thrown together in here. So the comic itself is um, pretty interesting. I do li like... The artwork is nothing to write home about. It is... Um, it matches the grittiness that you need for this kind of book. Um, so, you, like I said, it's a lot. Uh, it's, pretty, it's a pretty big book. Um, the book itself... Um, the artwork's decent, nothing to write home about, but I will say this, and this is not, uh, and I'm gonna say this as not a knock to Wesley Snipes. Um, I will never judge anyone for wanting to write it, uh, for wanting to write anything, speaking as a writer myself. I will not take that away from anyone, but this book really feels like Wesley Snipes' first attempt to write something, and it kind of shows because there's like, the pacing is really off. Like, um, it's a six issue book. Don't get, uh, keep that in mind. It's a six issue comic, and, um, but the pacing feels really awkward. And also, there's, there's really doesn't feel like there's any consequences to it. Um, there's also like weird stuff that happens and no one explains, like, um, Roach's partner wears a gas mask around him like an anime character and they never explain why but then he ends up dying anyway um, just weird things that are just there for aesthetics I think and again I understand aesthetics I read Todd McFarlane books for fun so I understand sometimes you just want aesthetics over you know pictures over story and a cool action figure I get it but there are things like that happen because the plot needs to move along like, there's things that just, uh, like, 
um, that just happen, and we move on from that real fast with any no real explanation. Um, again, uh, Wesley Snipes, I don't think... This was his first time writing a comic, and yeah, I imagine, like, the more he probably writes, the more he's probably going to be getting it, because there's, like, a cool idea... There's a really cool idea here. There's a really cool, you know, fascinating idea with these characters and whatnot, but at the same time, I'm. it really doesn't feel like any of it's warranted, because Roach himself is kind of a boring character, um... He really does feel like a spawn template, really. Like he really feels like he's it's um, Al Simmons with alien gear with uh, with the Omni. It's Al Simmons with the Omni tricks. That's what I'm looking at. But um, it's not awful. It's definitely a comic where we see what, like Snipes' writing is still the, it, like it's still needed. It's a cool concept, but the execution was just a bit off like just a little off pacing in character wise because there's some writing in here that made me go uh-huh yep that's uh, that's very and again so coming from someone who's read todd mcfarlane books you know you know who's read spawn books uh major uh, for fun i see a lot of spawn like he clear like i don't know if wesley snipes like Mar like um knows mcfarlane but it really does feel like he he knows his he knows Spawn comics, and it really feels like because a lot of this uh, uh, dialogue feels very Spawnish, if that makes any sense. So, do I recommend The Exiled? Depends, really. Um, it's um, it's a decent book. I'll give it that. Just maybe squeeze it down. Find one that's a smaller edition. <laughs> uh, anyway. So, Chris, uh, thank you once again for this book and the others. And you guys tell me in the comments below, if you've read The Exiled, let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of it. Other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I am Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.